Proven Realty and we, today we are here at Handy Andy's for our small business spotlight. I am here uh, with Andy and we are going to talk about all of the fun things that um, they have coming up this winter. So how, what, what all do you have planned for this winter? What are some of your exciting news that you have coming down the line? Well, first of all, I want to thank Proven Realty for, for considering us for this. It's a real honor and a, and a privilege to be able to yeah. visit with you guys as well. So thanks for uh, thanks for making this available to the community and, and doing your, your part to try and, and spread the word. Uh, do have a lot of fun things coming up here Good. at the nursery this this uh, this time of year. Of course, it's not uh, like it used to be. You know, a lot of folks, uh, we were talking kind of before we, we recorded here about how it used to be just a spring thing. People would come for their flowers in the spring and they really didn't think about us other times of the year and that really has changed. Uh, we began carrying Christmas trees and doing a, a sort of a Christmas season in 2012. We had our first year that we had trees and it was a, a very good year that year but we really just kind of had a bare bones thing. We had trees, we had a few wreaths and uh, it's circumstances that the tree vendor that year uh, had stopped. They had been in the community for numerous years. They were set up in the, used to be a Connemart parking lot and they were no longer selling trees. And so we were out almost immediately and there was no way to get more. And it was just kind of an interesting first year. Uh, but we are, we are happy to be part of the holiday season and part of the Christmas tradition uh, with your families and everything. We really enjoy uh, being part of that. So lots of fun workshops, uh, lots of fun opportunities. Erin uh, Bornis usually does pictures, so you can message her page and, and get in on some, some Christmas portraits down here. But we have a lot of fun workshops and Christmas events that we do. Uh, those can be found on our website, handyandysnursery.com. And you can register for those, bring your friends, and uh, have a fun evening or a fun Saturday and enjoying and, and spending some time down here. Uh, of course, a couple years ago now, we started a, a, a coffee kiosk that is open on Saturday. So Shivers is here, two on Saturdays for those workshops. And so you can get yourself a coffee and just uh, enjoy the festive atmosphere um, and, and have a great time. And that's what it's about. We're really a family-oriented place. We like you to come with your kids. We like you to have a, have a good time and enjoy yourselves. Um, and, and we're really about it being a family, family area and family opportunity. So. Awesome. So what are some of the fun workshops that um, people can find on your website? For sure, sure. So we, we kind of have a few crafty kind of things uh, right away because a lot of the greens and trees and things are not here yet. So we did a, uh, a, a DIY garland with some wood discs earlier this week. We have a pallet snowman here last night and tonight. And this Saturday we have where we're going to make a rustic sign. Uh, all this again can be viewed on the site or on our Facebook page. Uh, a lot of painting, a lot of crafty type aspect to that, but next week we start with our greens and our garland and our wreaths and trees and things will all be here next week. So we have an outdoor pot, holiday outdoor pots, where we're going to deck out an outdoor pot with some, some spruce tops and some greens and things and, and maybe some other glittery fancy things if you want, or go, go for that kind of thing. If you're a natural uh, person or if you're a glitzy glammy person, whatever it might be, come to one of those uh, fun opportunities. A lot of those holiday pot workshops, that's probably the hottest of any of the workshops and they do fill up quite quickly. However, there were a few that backed out and there is some openings here on Friday evening at seven o'clock. So there's a couple spots left on Friday, but some of these workshops are getting are getting quite full. Uh, we have some other fun opportunities with some, some tins and some other fun uh, holiday pot type things coming up the first and the third of December, our home sweet cabin. Uh, I talked about that uh, last night at the workshop. That still has some spots in it working again with holiday greens and, uh, and doing something for your front step. So uh, there are some centerpiece workshops, there's some wreath workshops, just a lot of fun things to, uh, to enjoy this, this time of year. Awesome. Uh, another question that I have for you is, I know a lot of us are spending a lot more time at home due to COVID and everything going on here in 2020. What are some awesome indoor plants that you'd recommend to kind of spruce up the interior, kind of bring some joy into the house? Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Tropicals, as, as many know, and some maybe don't know, are trending. Uh, they are just about the hottest thing uh, in a long time. They are back, back and popular, more popular than ever before. Uh, there are many plants that are great for indoor air. Of course, any plant that gets good light is awesome for air purification. It will help to increase the oxygen level in your home, provided that it has good light. And that is a challenge and a drawback for a lot of folks. They come in, they want a plant for a room that doesn't have a window. Well, you're not going to improve much air without sunlight, unfortunately. So get the shades open. Even if you sleep in there at night, make sure you get the blinds open, get the shades open during the day and get some light in there. Uh, 
Peace Lily, of course, is on NASA's air purifying list, and they're an awesome plant. Uh, so is the snake plant, which we kind of have behind us here, conveniently sitting here. This is a bird's nest sands, and bird's nest sands, or regular sands, are a great plant for a bedroom because they hang on to those phytoparticles, those light particles, and continue to emit that oxygen into the evening. So they're a great plant for the bedroom. Also is the aloe vera, which happens to be up here as well. Aloe vera is a succulent. Some know it as a succulent. Some know it uh, as a burn plant, a medicine plant for, for burns. So this one also a great plant for the bedroom because again, it does continue to hang on to that light particle and emit that oxygen into the evening. So uh, there are many plants that are good for air purification. Just about any pothos or philodendron, which I have a pothos here. This is pothos. This is the common uh, jade pothos. And jade pothos is uh, probably one of the more uh, tenacious or difficult plants to kill. Uh, pothos are extremely tough. Of course, snake plants are, are tough too. But lots of fun and good options for uh, indoor air. And I do have a workshop after the first of the year that features, uh, it's called Clean Air Plants. And we'll talk about what goes into helping improve your indoor air. So awesome. with the use of plants. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Yeah. And so um, for everybody viewing, um, to stay tuned and learn about all of these things, um, where, where's the best place to find you guys at? Sure. So you can always find our workshops listed on our website. You go to handyandiesnursery.com and there's a workshops tab at the top menu and you can view all the workshops that we have coming up there. You can request in the footer of our, our website to be uh, added to our email blast and so we'll send an email out when we release those. Uh, and then, of course, on good old Facebook. We're always on Facebook, but that kind of is the last um, place where they go. So once they go live to Facebook, sometimes they have started to fill already, and they usually fill up quite quickly. So uh, visit our website, put your name and in in, in email in that email address, and uh, also check out our, our private Facebook page, the Friends of Handy Andy's page, uh, the Facebook page, group page there. That will get you kind of on the inside track, because once they get published as events, on Facebook, they fill up pretty quickly. So, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Is there anything else that you'd like to let everybody, uh, the viewers, know about? Well, just uh, again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Proven Realty, for doing this. And uh, Christmas trees, of course, and garland and things coming next week. Probably will be available late next week, possibly by the following weekend. A little bit early to be putting your live tree up. A lot of folks are maybe worried they're not going to get a tree, but I would caution you on the, the uh, longevity of a tree for six to eight weeks indoors might be difficult. But get your tree, leave it in an unheated garage, leave it in your backyard, make sure you put a good cut on it before you bring it in the home, and really enjoy that, enjoy that tree this holiday season. Awesome. Thanks. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We really greatly appreciate it. I'm sure it was my pleasure. Thank you for coming.